What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to what has been uh, one video split up into multiple videos, partly due to just the complication and the large sum of items that we're going over, and partly due to my internet issues and having to deal with uh, the techs and all of that along the way. So I do apologize for all of that, um, but hopefully you're still at least getting the value from it. And ultimately, I think breaking it up into, into smaller videos does end up being a better choice that people can get more of exactly what they're going for rather than trying to go to one video and search all the way through it even with chapters it feels like a lot uh so let's continue this is valuing your gear what you should keep what you should get rid of um and what sort of has value and doesn't so let's dive into it now uh, we will go right into um the gloves so, Hand of the Brock, no value. Blood Fist, nice, but not really any value. Someone might give you, like, a foul rune or something. They just might want him, but doesn't really have a lot of value. Mage Fist, good value. These are one of only two 20 FCR gloves. They're not the best one, in my opinion, but a lot of people still like them. Regardless, they're going to be worth maybe, like, eh, Code of Lem, somewhere in there. Chanseys uh, are going to always have a little bit of value due to the magic find. So once again, probably like Ko to Lem in terms of value right there. I'd say more towards a Lem. Frostburns, not really going to have value. Um, maybe, I mean, less than the Lem for sure. They can be nice, but, you know, maybe foul or whatever, right? Uh, Venom Grips, not really. Grave Palms, not really. Ghoul Hides, not really. Lava Gout, somebody might, like, give a little bit. Again, maybe like a Korun or a Lem. I mean, not a lot, though. And Hellmouths, not really. So none of the exceptional gloves really have value, even though they're not bad gloves. In your Hell Gloves, Drax are going to have value. These are probably be worth, like, an um to a Mal, would be my guess. Maybe a little bit more. Um, so Dracules are definitely like a nice glove that a lot of people like, uh, and, and can be definitely decent for sure. Soul Drainers don't really have a ton of value. They do have dual leech, so somebody might like them for that purpose, but I mean, maybe a lamb or something like that. Um, and then Steel Wrens aren't really utilized very often. If you get high ED on them, somebody might buy these off of you for a little something. Um, they're a rare glove for sure, but they're not like crazy expensive i think it's fun to keep them and maybe like i say eh, maybe someone will give you like polar um or something for steel rents maybe like a perfect pair goes for more i mean i'm sure it does but uh you know overall they're not used by too many builds a lot of builds use different different gloves there and any gloves ethereal are worthless um into the belts lenemo is worth pretty much nothing. Snake cord, nothing. Night smoke, nothing. Gold wrap has a tiny bit of value. Once again, maybe that like uh, lem value, something like that. Blade buckle is pointless. String of ears has a little bit of value. If you get a perfect DR, that 15% damage reduced, it'll increase it a little bit more. Um, it's hard to say exactly what it'll be worth, but I would guess it's in like the pole range, something around there. Uh, razor tail has a little bit of value, but again, pretty common. So lem pole and somewhere in there gloom has no value snow clash doesn't really have a lot of value but especially earlier people will want it because they like the little plus to damage so you can maybe get like a lem do a pole on it and t gods has a little bit of value i think pole um um for t gods is uh not too crazy not too out, out of the way for it arachnid mesh is the number one belt this is going to be your best in slot belt for a lot of characters um, Iraq is going to generally keep pretty high value. I would say this is worth like Vexrune. Um, and it usually sticks around up, up in that area, in my opinion. Uh, Nosferatu's doesn't really have much value at all. Somebody might want it on a build, but Lem, maybe something on there. And then Verdungos, if you get really good rolls on your Dungos, um, this can definitely be worth. Also, I don't know if it quite goes as much as Chansey's, but, or I mean as Arachnid. But, I mean, maybe you're finding, you know, at least a um, mal is somewhere in there. It has value, though, for sure. And ethereal belts, also worth nothing. Um, boots, hot spurs, not really worth anything. Gorefoots, no. Treads, no. Goblin toes will have a little bit. Not a ton. But, uh, you know, maybe once again you get like a lemurin or something for some goblin toes. And tear haunts, you get nothing. Infernos, nothing. Water walks have some value, especially if you can get 65 to life um, on them, and, and that'll be uh, really nice. So people like the max life. 
And with water walks, I mean, I'd try and trade them for a pole or an um or something. Silk weaves, no value really. And war traps will have value. These will definitely be worth, uh, especially if you get a 50% MF roll. Um, you can ask for like probably a high rune for those, honestly, if they're 50s. But even some high ones are going to be worth ist or mal or something like that and be decently nice. Marowaks don't have a ton of value, but I think some people still like them, honestly. Uh, I'm not exactly certain of all the people that really want to use Marowaks. I mean, Summon Necro might put them or something. Um, but, yeah, generally Marowaks, I, I would say, it's worth keeping, and uh, you, you might have it somewhere, right? Um, sandstorms are going to be worth a lot. People also like them ethereal as well. So your treks are definitely going to have some value for sure. A lot of people like Marowaks. I'm just not sure if like the value that they really have overall. Um, they're, I mean, they're not going to be worth a ton. Uh, treks are definitely going to be worth at least, you know, pull, um, mal. Once again, it depends the roles that you get on them. If they're ethereal, you could probably get a little more. Um, shadow dancers don't really have a lot of value, uh, just high strength and you just don't, don't sell them very much. They're, they're really cool, but not worth a lot. And gore riders will have some good value because everybody wants gores for all of their different melee characters and all the different, you know, physical damage characters. Um, so gores again, trading that like pole, um, mal, whatever kind of range in there, I would imagine. And ethereal boots minus like treks are going to be pretty worthless. Going to shields, Pelt Lunata is worthless, Umbral no, Storm Guild no, Swordback no, Steel Clash no, Wall of the Eyeless, Bavaret's Keep, The Ward, all of these, pointless, you can trash them all. Visserent no, Moser's has a little bit of value, not a lot, but somebody might give you like a Lem Rune or Pole Rune or something for a Moser's, um, which can be nice. Storm Chaser no, Lance Guard no, Team Match Rebuke not really, uh, Lidless used to have more value, but Spirit's really taken over. It's still probably worth, like, foul to Lem, I'd imagine. Not much more. Gurkies, uh, not really. Radiments, uh, not really. And then Haas does have value. And a Haas is going to go for uh, probably anywhere from, uh, like, it's probably worth around Vex, I would say. Uh, something in that range. So that is nice. Um, but. That's probably the only real one that I think is worth too much there. Black Oak, no. Storm Shield has some value. I, I feel like the value of Storm Shield is a little hard to, to tell. It's not worth a ton, but some characters will want it. You're, you can definitely probably get like Pol, um, Mal, somewhere in that range on it. Headhunters, not really. Medusa's Gaze, not really. Um... Spike Thorn, no. Spirit Ward, not really. Dark Force has a little bit of value and can be nice. And Bone Flame, both of these can be okay Necro Helms. Uh, and so you can probably trade these for a little bit. Not going to be crazy expensive, but a little bit. And Dragon Scale doesn't really have value. Uh, Alma Negra is maybe like Lem or less. Um, and then, yeah, I don't have Homunculus in here. I think it's on the Necromancer. So Homunculus is also worth um, maybe a little bit, right? But once again, not like a ton of value in all of those. Um, let's dive into some of the uh, weapons now. So we'll start with just your one-handed axes. Nasher, no. Deathspade, no. Bladebone, Skull Splitter, Rake Scar, none. Cold Kill, no. Butchers, Isle Strike, Pompeys, and a Guardian. None of those have value. Um, Razor's Edge, Rune Master, some people like uh, an ethereal 5 open saga Rune Master, and you can get like a little bit of value from it. Um, other than that, no, no, no. And then Death Cleaver does have value, uh, and especially people also like having an Eth Death Cleaver. So this can have value, and this can get into like some high rune trades for your Death Cleavers for sure. Um, and then two-handed axes, no, 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 and no. So two-handers are pretty worthless, and you're not really going to trade them for anything or see them in trades. Daggers, um, gold dagger has some value because of the 100 magic find. It's very nice really early on, and you can always probably trade it off for like a lemurin or something like that. 
Um, Diggler, no. Jade, no. Spectral Shard is nice early on, but it loses its value very quickly because it gets kind of replaced by, like, Suicide Branch and stuff. Fine Ripper, no. Heart Carver, no. Black Bugs, no. Storm Spike, no. Uh, Flesh Ripper, no. Ghost Flame, no. And Wiz Pike does have some value. Uh, once again, probably in the, like, pull to um range, I would guess. Um, not crazy valuable because you can find a lot of them, but it is nice. Uh, Fell Oak, no. Stout Nail, Crush Flange, Blood Rise, General, Iron Stone, Nell Striker, Rust Hand on Storm Eye. None of those. A lot of normal weapons will not have any value. No, 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 and no. So again, for your uh, scepters here and clubs, none. Um, Nords, no. Baronars, no. Demon Limb might have a tiny bit because some people like the enchant charges. Again, maybe like Lamb or something. I'm not exactly sure the value. Stormlash will have a little bit of value for sure. Um, you know, some Kixens might want it or some, you know, a few characters might like a Stormlash. I'm not actually sure the value of Stormlash, but I would keep it. Somebody will want that for sure. Horizons, Tornado, no. Stun Crusher, no. Shaver's Hammer, no. Astrians, unfortunately, doesn't really have uh, much value. It's still not terrible, and, like, I would still say you could trade this off for something. Um, pull, um, Mal, whatever. Because uh, it's still okay. Like, you get some added damage and, you know, bonus AR, crushing blow, whatever. Um, and same with, like, these two. I would keep them to trade for, like, small things, but they're not going to be worth a lot, unfortunately. So... Um, you know, these, these can be worth a tiny bit. Uh, maybe like pole zums, whatever, for those things. Uh, Two-handeds, no. No, even though I love Steel Driver, not really worth a lot. Blood Tree, no. Gavel of Pain, no. Wind Hammer, not really. Earth Shifter and Cranium Basher with 256 strength requirements, no. Um, so somebody might like a Wind Hammer. You might find a Barb that like wants to pick this up or a Druid or something. Um, maybe this one could be like a small value, but nothing else really going to have any value in this section. Uh, into pole arms, Demokes Hue, no, Steel Good, no, Solarvis, no, Battle Branch, Woe Stav, and Grim Reaper, all no. Uh, Meat Scraper, no, Black Leech, Athena's, Pierre, Husal Dahl, and Grim's Burning Scythe, all no, though some of them can be nice. Bone Hue does have value. People like Bone Hue, especially if you get Ethereal. And same with Reaper's Toll. If you can get an Ethereal Reaper's Toll, um, both of those can be very nice. And also with your Tomb Reaver, right? If you can get these guys to be Ethereal, um, they can be have some value. Reaper's Toll, probably the most valuable, I would say, of the group. And you can get into the High Rune range if you get the, those Ethereal right there. Bone Hue is probably the cheapest, easiest one. Then the reason you want them F is for a mercenary. These are good mercenary weapons. Good damage, good damage, and then with the Decrypify. And Stormfire is a no. Uh, so like here, I, ha I have a re F Reaper's Toll. So this is a this is pretty nice. I would trade that for a decent sum. And an F Bone Hue. Nice. Um, getting into our Spears. No, 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 no. No. Some people like Kelpie Snare, but... It's generally not really going to trade for much. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no, and no, and no, and no. So really, there's not any spear that you're going to see people trading for value. Stabs, Bane Ash, Serpent Lord, uh, Spire of Lazarus, Salamander, Iron Bang, Jang Bong, all no's. Razor Switch is nice, but ultimately just gets out class, so no. Uh, Ribcracker actually does have value, especially if you can get an ethereal Ribcracker people love, or a perfect Ribcracker, you can start to get into some real value. Chromatic Iron, Warp Spear, and Skull Collector all no. But, like, this right here, here's an ethereal perfect upgraded Ribcracker. I would trade this for many Hirons, because this is a beautiful weapon. It needs to be socketed with the Zod, of course, but... Beautiful weapon. Um... Oops. And then Andal's and Mang Song's lesson, unfortunately, are no's. Uh, most rib crackers aren't like super valuable. If it's a good ED roll, it can have some value. Um, Rixot's no, Blood Crescent, Skewer, Gleam Scythe, Griswold's, Hell Plague, and Colwyn's all no's. Blood Letter is nice, but again, not, it's just going to run out of value fast. Cold Steel, Hexfire. 
Um, Alibaba does have value. These are all no. Um, Alibaba has some value. People will want it. Lem to pull probably. Jinthus Rift, Head Striker, Plague, and Atlantean are all no's. Azurath, unfortunately, not really worth a lot. Maybe somebody gives you a Lem. Pull for it. Blood Moon, no. Jin Slayer, no. Frostwind, no. And Lightsaber, again. Maybe you get a Lem or something for it because somebody wants the Lightsaber. It's kind of a classic. Two Handers. Shadowfang, no. Soulflay, no. Kinemals, no. Black Tongue, no. Ripsaw, no. Patriarch, no. Crank, no. Bing, no. Vile, no. Cloudcrack, no. Toads, no. Sword Guard, no. Uh, Flamesvilla, no. Doombringer, no. And Grandfather will have a little bit of value. Some people still like to run the old school Grandfather weapon. Um, so this one might be worth a little bit. I'm not sure the exact value. I don't know if it touches like a, a Vex or anything. Um, but yeah, maybe you can get Malice, Skull, something in there. I'm not exactly sure on the full value. But some people like the Grandfather still. So it's got a little bit. Torch, no. Maelstrom, no. Graven Spine, no. Suicide Branch does have a tiny bit of value because some characters will end up running this. Um, it's not worth a lot, but maybe you get like a lamb something. Karen Shard, no. Army King Lyric, uh, some people like it for some summoning stuff. So maybe you can get a little bit for this. Black Hand, no. Ume's Lament, no. Eshudas, if you have a 320 or close to that, then it can be good. So like this is a 320 light. If you have a 320 fire, that's a little bit more desired because fire sorceresses would like that. Um, if it's anything, two skills or one skill, it's worthless. And if it's like 10% or whatever, it's worthless, right? So it needs to be pretty high. And again, it's not worth a ton, but um, it's okay. And Aussie is good at the start, so this is going to be worth some value. It'll drop in its value over time, but right now it's trading like gold plus, gold of X between there. Uh, eventually it'll drop down to like probably um or something, maybe even less. Bone Shade, not really worth much. Death's Web is worth an okay amount. Um, this is probably going to be worth between Vex and Ohm, I would imagine. Uh, and, uh, and it's pretty nice, and the closer you get to, you know, to... 50 or whatever, the, the better it'll be, right? So you want it to have plus two to poison and bone skills and minus 50 enemy poison res would be best. If it's ethereal as well, it doesn't matter because casters don't lose their ability. Excuse me. And then Death Fathom is going to have um, good value, especially if you get high cold skill damage. The closer you are to 30, the more value it's going to have, probably in the multiple high rune range. Um, the lower it is, the less value it'll have. But this is a best in slot uh, weapon for cold sources. So you'll see a lot want that. Death Pit, no. Scalper, no. Jimmer Shred, no. Lacerator. Uh, maybe has a tiny bit of value because some people will use the Lacerator if they're a throw barb. Um, War Shrikes as well could have a tiny bit of value because these two will be used. If they're ethereal, you're going to get more value from them. Wraith Flight, no. Gargoyles Bite, no. Uh, titans are going to be worth a little bit, for sure. Non-Ethereal Titans will be worth probably, like, pull uh, to um. And then Ethereal Titans will be worth probably, like, Ist, Gold. Eh, probably more than that. Probably, like, Gold of X, somewhere between there. And, of course, the closer they are to perfect, the better they will be um, for value. T-Strokes, not worth a ton. But... Still going to be worth a little bit. Again, you might be in like pulled um, somewhere in that range. And then if they're plus four, you know, whatever, they can be nice, right? It depends what the roll is. Uh, and Demon's Arch is not worth anything. Um, so again, like I say, if you get these two ethereal, this will be worth more. Um, bows will have Pluck Eye, no. Wither String, no. Ravenclaw, no. Rogue, Stormstrike, Wizendraw, Hellclap, and Blast Bark are all no's. Sky Strike, Rip Hook, Kuko, Endless, Witch Wild, Cliff Killer, Mage Wrath um, are all no's. Gold Strike and Lycanders, I think you can trade these for maybe Lem to Pole, probably, in there. I think that'll be what you can get for those guys. And Witch Wild could maybe go for like Coda Lem, something like that. Um, those are worth more Ethereal because they replenish quantity for the throwing weapons. Widowmaker, no. Eagle Horn, not really. Wind Force is going to have value. This is probably like. Uh, Ist to Vex, somewhere in between that range. I'm not exactly sure, but it definitely has some value. Some bows hunts like to use it, and Blood Ravens doesn't have value, no. 
Crossbows, no, 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 and no for all the normal crossbows. Langer, Puss Bitter, Bereza, and Demon Machine are all really no's. Somebody might give you Code Lem for a Bereza. And Gut Siphon and Hellrack are also no. People just don't really like crossbows that much. Don't really waste your time with all that space. In terms of uh, Claws, Bartooks can have a little bit of value. Lem Pole, maybe. Um, Fire Lizards, no, not really. Jade Talon has a little bit of value, not a ton. Again, probably Lempole and Shadow Killer doesn't really have a lot of value. Um, so, yeah, I mean, some people like Bereza. It's not, it's not a best in slot. Like, I mean, it can be fun for some things, but there's definitely better weapons there. Um, do I have anything else on that one? Nope. Perfect. So that kind of covers uniques. Uh, I'll cover sets in the next video. We can go through all the different set pieces, but hopefully that gives you some idea, some of the value for what you should keep with a lot of those unique weapons right there. Um, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you learned a little bit and you have some ideas of what you can just trash and what you kind of want to keep and maybe try and trade. Anyways, peace YouTube.